I want to learn how to think how they think. And what I mean by that is who is your hero? Who is someone that you look up to? And how can you start to figure out how to think like they think? So I'll give, I want to give you an example. I can't turn my camera around right now. So I'm just going to have to look, kind of work with my iPad. Uh, this video is going to be posted on Thursday morning. I think it's October 21st. But I'm actually recording this the night before as I'm about to go to bed. In particular, I'm scroll um, I was watching a YouTube video. Um, but I saw something on Dan Martell's Instagram. First, I saw this, which is a post about him being up at 5 a.m., which for me always triggers like that's where I want to get to. I want to seeing the uh, the level of life that he's created. I seek to achieve that level as well. But then here's the second point that I want you to think about. So the next piece in his Instagram story is he screenshot this guy on a YouTube video and it says, <clears throat> if you have aspirations to build something huge, study those who have done it, not the internet gurus, not even those who, <laughs> most don't even know how to build a team, let alone an empire. Success leaves clues, choose the right people to model is the key. And what connects with me in this video or in this um, screenshot in particular is I want to think how Dan thinks. I want to study who he studies. Truthfully, that's exactly how I found Taki Moore. And that's how I built the entire Resilience Toolbox program is because I wanted to know how Dan thought and Taki Moore is Dan's coach. And so that's another story. The point is then what happens is so I go on YouTube and I find this video and I don't know anything about this guy. I had a feeling that he was a billionaire and I was right. And the, the content that Dan is watching is a video. I'm going to play a clip, of course, why it's relevant too. But the video that Dan is watching is from 2012. It's not even like it's always the most recent stuff, but I want to think how Dan thinks. So here's what, here's what the video is. Their complaint against Canadian businesses is that they are sitting on hordes of cash and that they're not putting that dough into the game. Are they right in saying that? I think so. But you, you got to understand uh, the uncertainty in the world. We've just been through a very significant downturn where there a lot of people were very frightened, including a lot of companies and including uh, the financial institutions, and there's a lot of damage done there, and, and it's, it takes time to have the confidence, and uh, particularly when you have the debt that's, uh, that's involved with the United States and Europe, when you've got countries like that who are the leaders, uh, particularly the Americans, and uh, the issues that, that uh, they have in Europe, there's a lot of reasons to hold back and uh, be careful. Because some people have said, you know, it... Now, there's nothing too profound about that, except that to hear how a billionaire thinks, um, talking about the economy back then even, is just another indication to think differently. Just hearing it from him is going to further validate either your own beliefs or um, what else is happening in the world right now and give you perspective about what some of the most successful minds in the world are thinking about and doing. And I know that that comment was from eight years ago. But the point being again is that success leaves clues and you want to start to think how they think. They meaning who are your heroes, who are your idols, who are the people that you look up to that you want to aspire to be like, to have and do the things like they do. Um, I think it's fair to say that Dan Martell is probably looking, hopefully to someday be a billionaire, um, which I completely believe that he's capable of becoming. Um, but, you know, in particular, like inside the Resilience Toolbox, one of the less, a couple of the lessons that I have, one is to locate your hero 
and the second is to assemble your library. And as I build my own library of YouTube videos and podcasts and, and actually books, it's like this is literally how I think about all of that stuff is that if I see something that someone else is reading or listening to that has done or is doing something similar to what I would like to do, when you see that, it's about actually going out there to read it, listen to it, consume it in some way, that you start to develop your mindset the same way that they have built and developed their mindset. That's literally the steps to take to develop your mindset and build your mental resilience. So that's it. I'm going to peace out. Um, if you have any thoughts, please leave a comment below. I highly encourage you to go and check out Dan Martell. He's a, a beauty. And um, that's it. Peace out.